Hello friends, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. So this is about MVG College of Engineering and I am going to cover their management quota seats as well as fee structure with scholarship. So MVG College of Engineering is a quite old and established college and it started in 1982 and it's one of the autonomous institute which is located out of Bangalore area. So you can see it's quite old established four decade old college. So a large number of students have already passed from this college. So 24,500 students as of date have graduated. So that is approximately 25,000 students have passed. And the you know, main USPs of the college are like it's approved by AICT and affiliated to VTU. It's an autonomous college and accredited with NBA and the NAC accreditations. So this is the college main infrastructure and this is located in Whitefield area in Bangalore. So it provides a good amount of uh, open spaces. If you can see the playground and the open green spaces with the computer lab, which you can see here. And this is also one of the pictures of the library and the laboratories. This again, so some open area along with the canteen, which is part of the college infrastructure. And you do see one of the pictures of their hostel facilities along with the playgrounds. And this is one of the another scholastic picture. And I'll talk now about the courses offered by the college. So uh, all the courses, they have a school of computer science, computer science and design, CSD or CSD. And then they have computer science, data science and electrical and electronics engineering, electronics and communication engineering, EC with ACT advanced communication technology and then mechanical engineering school has aeronautical engineering aerospace engineering chemical engineering civil engineering and mechanical engineering other branches are like information science engineering and with electronics we have vlsi and design also available industrial iot also available and then rest of them are not b but the m, m tech co courses related branches so if you're interested in mtech you can also look into this now talking about the admission process which is for the management quota right so zero capitation fee and limited seats available and they said minimum they require is 60 percent in the 10th 12th examinations and the pcm for admission now directly i will talk about the fee structure within different scholarships scheme and see you can see that it is mentioned that it is for 24 25 which is the latest so the left side you see the dip different departments like aeronautical engineering aerospace and artificial intelligence and then you know chemical computer science computer science with design and so on right so first uh, um, also sees the different merit criteria so if you are scoring above 80 percent it is in your 12 10th and 12th and PCM 12th and 12th PCM right so basically you should score 80 percent in 10th class PCM and 12th class PCM also 80 percent but this is more than the fees in the merit one so in that case now you are for computer science you have to pay 4 lakh 12,480 so you are earlier you were paying 3 lakh 68 480 now you are paying 4 lakh 12,000 so you have to pay 40,000 more because you are in merit 2 category and same thing is applicable for all other branches like uh, artificial intelligence also you have to pay now 374 and so on now you see the third merit which is if you are scoring between 60 to 60 uh, 70 percent in PCM right in 10th class and 12th class PCM right then in that case first year fees for computer science will be 4,56,480 and for computer for um, uh, AI it will be 4,14,000 and for CD which is you know again see computer science with design it will be 4,14,982 every year so this fees increases now because you are scoring lesser marks in your PCM so you can check all the branches on your own and the fees remain same for all the four years this is continuation from the first page where you can see the now the fee structure for civil electronics and communication you know aeronautics uh, sorry electric ev branch ee branch information science engineering branch and mechanical engineering and the other branches which are there in the college 
so this is again the same table continuation from the first page and the first four column is for merit of uh, one category which is 80 percent marks and above S next four column is for the merit two which is uh, 70 percent and above and the third one is for merit three which is 60 to 69 percent if you are scoring based on that your fees for different branches will be this so here also if you see in ece 2 lakh 34 thousand this is the same fees you pay in all the categories right and uh, similar thing will happen for mechanical and other branches which you can check here so that's all i have to cover thanks for watching and please do subscribe channel to get similar updates take care and bye placement for this college i will cover in the next video